sophomore political science major in the honors tutorial college um, on campus. I attend classes, um, participate in speech and debate, and try to maintain an active life in campus culture. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I started at the age of 16, started regularly smoking from 17 on to now, I'm 19 years old. What got you into smoking? Uh, it's a complicated question, and one that no matter which smoker you ask, they can't give you a really good answer because it's something that um, you have to be a part of to really understand. Um, forms part of your identity and can be a source of maybe not pride, but um, definitely um, there's a sense that you're a part of a community. First of all, I think it's just bad policy. Um, as the university has stated, they have entered the formative stages of um, discussing the parameters of what a smoking ban would entail. They're trying to roll it out over the course of three years now. The problem is they don't have any idea how to enforce it. To do so meaningfully would take away a lot of resources that inevitably the students would pay for. And um, from a you know realistic standpoint, the university isn't pursuing it as a goal to student health, it's really a money thing. Uh, the fact of the matter remains that this is an issue of personal liberty, and that is being overlooked, I feel, especially since it's not just a smoke-free campus, it's a tobacco-free campus. It definitely arises out of social stigma, and it's not simply um, a matter of, you know, advancing interests for non-smokers. It's also about a perception or a commonly held belief amongst a lot of people that um, smoking is a moral issue. And when you're walking down the street, you see people who um, will do the sarcastic cough um, to indicate their displeasure or just give you a look of disapproval. And um, really, like I said before, it comes down to a person's decision to do something, and we shouldn't base not only our attitudes about the person off of that, but neither should we base our policy off of that. I can't give you a reasonable answer. No smoker can. You know, that's a question that a lot of us get, but it's, um, first of all, it's an addiction, so that causes um, an irrational hold. Second of all, as I spoke to earlier, um, there's a feeling of solidarity between smokers. There, it opens you up to a whole new um, subculture that um, kind of feeds your desire to stay within it. Well, no, the feeling is the same, but um, the reasons why are different for each person. 